Okay, everybody. I'm glad you guys are all watching. We're going to get this tutorial started really quick. I'm going to try to keep this tutorial really short, okay? So, what we're going to start with here is an undersketch, okay? What's called an undersketch. And what you do is you take your regular pencil, okay, to draw Caleb. And first thing we're going to do is draw a circle. Okay, now during the undersketch, you do not have to be perfect. Okay, do not have to be perfect. I want you to try your best. Don't get upset if it doesn't look good because the under sketch is something that is a part of the what's going to uh, be a part of the drawing later. Okay, so what I want you to do is draw a circle here as best as you can okay Draw that circle. I don't like that circle <laughs> see I just went against my own rule of don't, not being perfect but the reason why I erased it because it's too big okay so okay so that's good so I want you to draw a circle like this okay and the under sketch okay then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle, a straight line down the middle like this, okay? And then on the other side, you draw like that, okay? So what you're going to be drawing is a circle here in the middle again, and kind of like a cross, a T, a big giant letter T in the middle of the circle, okay? After that, what you want to do is then from this point, Draw a small circle like this and bring it to the bottom of the circle like so. Okay? Do the same thing on the other side, but a little bit smaller. You see how I drew that there? All right? Those are going to be his ears. That is where his ears are going to be. All right? Again, does not have to be perfect. Do not worry about getting everything exactly right. What you want to do next is from the top of the ear on the right, you want to draw kind of a hexagon or like a triangle shape, sort of. But what we're doing is we're creating his hair. Okay? So you draw that. Okay? If you have to pause the video or rewind the video, do so. Okay? Just so that you can understand. And you can do it and, and, and practice as much. But again, this is the under sketch, so you shouldn't have to worry about all that that much. Okay? Now, down below here, below this line, on the right side of the bottom line, you want to draw a line here and draw a line here. This is Caleb's neck. Okay? Now, here at the bottom of his ear, we're going to go a little bit below this bottom of the circle to create his chin. Okay? And what we're going to do is you're going to go just a little bit underneath it and create a point to that line. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, you see that? All right. So now we've created Caleb's entire face here. Now, you're probably wondering what this middle line that we've drawn here is for. And what that is, is that this is a guideline for where his eyes are going to go. So what you want to do is draw his eyes here. And then on the other side, do the same thing. Okay? <clears throat> now, right below the eyes, between the eyes and the bottom of the chin, you want to draw a line here okay what that line is is that is where his nose is going to be in between this middle line and the middle of the chin you want to draw another line this is where his mouth is going to be okay and so with all of that said there you've just successfully drawn an under sketch now, if you want to at this phase, if it really bugs you, you can kind of clean it up if you want to. But it's not necessary because you're going to end up erasing this anyway when you um, 
when you draw over it later on with the Sharpie. Okay? But this here is just the guideline. Now, the best thing to do when you're drawing your under sketch is draw it very lightly. Don't press very hard. Okay? Because if you press very hard, when it's time to erase, it's going to be really hard to erase it all. So, you, and you don't want that to happen. Okay? So, what we've done is we've laid all the foundation for Caleb's entire face. Okay? Now, on the computer here, you're going to see me... Um, um, lower this down and make it a little bit more visible and clear okay and this is for me so that it's used as a guideline to now when I create a new layer now your new layer is going to be now you'll need to pick up your sharpie or whatever uh, whatever tool you decide to use I provide instructions to give you like a sharpie okay and now with these guidelines in place Okay, then we will now start to begin our drawing. Okay, so I want you to follow me exactly what we're doing, and we'll go from there. Now, the best place to start with Caleb, because of how his face is, he's a happy kid, right? Why? Because he serves Jehovah, and he has a great family and everything, right? Are his eyes, okay? And these little circles that we've drawn are the guidelines that we put to where his eyes are going to be. Now, these aren't necessarily the shape of his eyes, because... His eyes don't actually look like that, but it just gives us a place marker, okay? So what I want you to do now is now draw his eyes like so. You see, his eyes kind of look like, what do I want to say? They kind of look like, hmm, I don't know what they look like. They kind of look like half of oranges or something like that. I don't know. It's ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> okay. And then, so these are his eyes. Okay. And what I like to do is you want to kind of darken them in just a little bit over the top. Now, Caleb's not a girl, so you don't give him eyelashes. But to show that he's got eyes, eyelashes, you kind of make the top part just a little bit, the line on the top, just a little bit darker than the bottom. Okay. And Caleb has high eyebrows because he's always happy all the time, right? Okay. So we draw his eyebrows in like this. Okay. Perfect. And then we draw in his nose. You see, remember this guideline that we drew in the middle of his face? This is where his nose lies. So we draw on his nose there. So a nice way to um, practice sometimes drawing a nose if you're not quite sure. Sometimes what you could do is you could draw a circle and then another circle. Okay. And then erase the middle part. When you erase that middle part, then you'll create the perfect nose. See that little trick? Okay. So we got the eyes here, we put the nose there, and then this final line down here at the bottom is a smile. So what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of a triangle shape, okay? But it's going to be a curved like triangle. So what we do is bring his mouth there, draw that little curve with a little line there and a little line here. And then this is where the triangle starts. Curve it down at the bottom like so. Bring it up here to meet the meet the end. That that the the crease of his mouth there, okay, and then another line here. All right. <clears throat> See that? See he's starting to come together already. See. Now what we're gonna what I like to do is then begin with his ears. So. Well, again, what you're following those guidelines that we created earlier in the under sketch. We draw his ears, his left ear, and then we draw his right ear. All right. And then this here is where we then connect his chin. Okay. Okay. So we connect his chin right here. See that? So now we've created. The bottom of his the bottom of his face here 
All right. The next thing that I want you to do. So again, if you got to go back and rewind, do so. Pause it, rewind it, do what you got to do. Okay. Here is where his we start drawing in his hair. Caleb has kind of a little bit of sideburns. So you draw a line straight up here to his eyebrows. Come up with another line here all the way to the top of this circle. And then you want to come down because Caleb has a pretty interesting little part in his hair. Okay, come down to that side of the circle and stop here. Then what you want to do is bring that up here, bring that up like kind of a, a curve, and then come up again. He's got like a little swoosh in his hair. Okay, follow that guideline all the way to the top of his ear and stop there. Now, in certain Caleb videos, you'll notice sometimes he has a little cow lick, but when he's dressed up for the meeting, he doesn't have that. Why? Because his hair is all... He looks presentable for Jehovah when he goes out to, you know, to the meeting or, um, or you know, when he goes out in service, right? So we got to make we're gonna make a presentable looking Caleb here, okay? So then we're gonna bring this down here like that to the bottom, to this side of the circle, and bring his head down like that. At this point, so you see how the circle comes down or the top of his hair comes down like that. We're not going to touch that. What we're going to do is we're going to go kind of down the middle part way. And we're going to, then again, follow that guideline down that way. And see, now we've created Caleb's hair. Okay. So now we've created Caleb's hairline here. Now what we're going to do, since this is what's called a three-quarter view, so now we have to connect his face together so you can make a straight line down this way. Okay. Now to fill in his ears to the right, we make a little upside-down J. Okay. And then in the middle of that J, then we make what's like a C. You see that? Now that looks like a looks like an ear. Okay, cartoon ear. Again, we do the same thing on this side, but you want to make it a little bit thinner, and you want to make it follow the shape of the ear. Then we do the C here as well. Okay. Now Caleb in the videos wears a bow tie, right? So let's draw a quick little bow tie. He wears a tiny little bow tie. So we're going to draw easy way to do that. So draw a square just a little bit below his chin, right? Then draw a triangle shape here, there, and then on the other side, do the same thing. Okay? You see that? And now with that bow tie shape, then you can connect his neck there. See? And then his shoulders. And then we bring it down like that. And in the middle of the shirt, you draw some buttons. Okay. Perfect. You see how it's coming together? Caleb is coming together nicely. Isn't he? Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do is now that you've created the initial sketch, one of the things that you could do, what I like to do personally, is I like to kind of make it a little bit darker. Because when you make it darker around the edge, okay, when you create that outline, kind of makes it a little bit more, makes it pop out a little bit more. Okay, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, okay, but I think it's a good idea, okay. So, but if you decide to, what you do is you go around, just only around the, the 
the outer line of the figure, okay, or the face. Okay. Okay, you see how see how when you do that, how his um how it just kind of makes it more makes it stand out more. Okay. Do that. Okay. Now at this point, if you want to, you can erase the undersketch, the pencil. Okay. So let's so if you want to let's 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 do this erase now okay and now what we're going to do now is make Kaylee come alive okay and how we do that now the eyes always make a character come to life okay and again we want to see how happy it is so what you do is you draw a circle in the eyes like so okay so you draw a circle in the eyes, like that. You see that already? Since he's got eyes, he's already looking like, hey, I'm Caleb, or whatever. That was dumb. I shouldn't have said that anyway. All right. Now, the way I like to do eyes, sometimes people like to, you could, if you want to, you could go like that. You could go like that and just, you know, make circles, fill in the, fill in the circle. And have his eyes right there. You can do that. You could. But what I like to do is I like to first draw a tiny square in the eyes like that on both sides on the top. Okay. There. And then I draw a little circle down at the bottom like this. Okay. And then I draw another circle in between them like that, that goes through both of those shapes that I just created. Okay. And, and then I fill that circle in and watch what happens when you, when you do fill just that circle in. His eyes come alive much more brighter. They have they look like they have more life to them. They look more bright, they look more fun, they look more happy. Right? You see? And it just looks a whole lot better. It looks a whole lot cooler. Okay? And what that is called is called a shine. If you look in pictures, if you look in your pictures that your mom and dad might have, that pictures you and you'll see these little bright spots in your eyes. And that's called a shine. And that's what makes, you know, makes you look alive. So that's how you can make that in a drawing. Whenever you draw eyes, you can make those, those, those image, you know, those shapes. Remember the square here and a little circle and then a bigger circle, big giant circle in the middle of those. And your eyes come alive instantly. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go to his mouth. Okay. Now the way to do his mouth, his mouth is going to be open because he's grinning. Open mouth smile. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a line right in the middle like this. Okay. And then you're going to go in the middle here like that. Now you see this little triangle part? You're going to make that black. You're going to fill that in with black. Okay. And you see that? He's smiling. Happy servant of Jehovah. Right? And that's it. See how cool that is? Now you could take now you could take this Caleb right now and you can draw and then you here. We're gonna we're gonna let me do his eyebrows a little bit more. Okay. Boom. Just like that. All right. I'm going to make some changes to it myself because I'm going to do that. But you can, but once you put down the, the ink on here with your Sharpie, pretty much that's it. Okay. 
So now, with this Caleb that you just drawn, you can do all kinds of different things. Like, for instance, you could draw Caleb with a polka dot, bow tie on, right? Draw him with a polka dot bow tie, right? That's what I'm going to do. Polka dots. Jova does, doesn't mind polka dots. Right? He's a kid. He's having fun. Serving Jehovah, right? See? And that's your Caleb drawing right there. Remember, you're going to, I want you to practice this over and over and over again. You're not, you might not get it right the first time. You might not get it right, and that's okay. All right? When you draw, you have to practice and practice and practice. Okay? And you have to keep going. So, you want to learn to draw Caleb, you have to practice and practice and practice. So, watch this video as many times as you need to. Okay? That's why I made it a video, so that you can come back and watch it whenever you want. And you could learn to draw Caleb and keep practicing. And show you in the ways that I've taught you here in this video. Okay? If you guys have any questions, you could leave a comment here on the video or have your parents come and talk to me or leave an email or do whatever you'd like. Or if you see me around, ask me a question. Okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed this tutorial, and hopefully I will see you guys at the next tutorial when we now tackle a sister Sophie. Okay? Guys, have a good one.